I'm Carrie Samuels, your intuitive counselor and happiness coach with your May forecast. And you will be delighted to know that this month's energy is so much lighter than last month. Big news is that Mercury is going direct. So all of last month, Mercury was retrograde, but it wasn't just Mercury. We had five planets in retrograde. And anytime we have any planet in retrograde, it's time for you to reevaluate and reassess your life. And I bet you did so much of that. I know it might have been an emotionally challenging month, but it really was good for you clearing things out. You may have been like, why am I still going through this? Didn't I heal this already? Didn't I take care of this before? Why is this coming up for me again? I don't understand. Or I thought I liked this part of my life, but I really don't anymore. All of a sudden I'm questioning everything. You know what? This is really, really good because May is a turning point. It's really forward moving energy and it's really like, this is like the one year that you've been waiting for. You know how like we started this year and it's a one universal year and it's all about new beginnings and fresh starts. And you're like, when's that gonna come? When's that part coming? Well, this is really like the beginning of that. But before you did that, it was kind of like cleaning up the, the parts of your life that really weren't in alignment with your soul's purpose anymore. So moving forward, as you are creating this new life for yourself and forging a new path, it's truly in alignment with your soul's purpose and your heart's desire. And really that's what this month is about. It's about integrating that energy, is to making sure that you're truly in your heart and living your soul's purpose in alignment with what you came here to do. So it's a lighter energy, it's really much more beautiful. We are in the sun sign of Taurus until the 20th and then we move into that light social sign of Gemini after the 20th and Taurus is an earth sign, it's really sensuous, it's really beautiful, it is ruled by the planet Venus. And Venus is all about love, beauty, harmony, relationships, and attraction. And that's a lot of what this is about right now. This is a time, you know, this is really this time where you, you create more balance and love and harmony for yourself. And it's a time to focus on your relationships in a way that's more joyful and it's a way that brings you more harmony. And this is also in numerology, May 2017 is a 15 universal month and 15 reduces to the number six. And six is actually associated with the planet Venus. Six is associated with the heart and love, beauty, romance, harmony, and attraction. So we really have an alignment there. There's a theme going on. So this is really about getting you to bring more balance into your life. You know, uh, the six comes after the five, which is what we experienced last month. Five kind of changes things up and creates some chaos and mixes things up a little bit, gets you to try new things. Six comes to restore harmony for you. So you may be wanting to do things that uh, balance your body more or your life or bring more joy into your life. So the thing about the 15, which is the higher octave of six, remember we're in a 15 month, the 15 really makes sure that you're, you're living true to your heart and, and to yourself. Because the shadow side of the six energy can be about martyring yourself or perfectionism or trying to please other people so much that you're denying your own needs or like not being true to yourself. So with this 15 energy, it's like the universe making sure that you're truly making choices and, and, and being yourself in a way that's so true to you and that you're relating to other people in a way that's really true to you. So it can be a really joyful time for romance and socializing and creativity and fun and relationships if you're being true to yourself. But if you're not, if you're hiding parts of yourself, you're still making other people's happiness, your responsibility, or you're throwing your life off balance in certain ways, that's gonna come to light too. So just be aware of that as you go through this month. Now there's another energy that's coming into play this month that's really powerful, really important for us all collectively. On May 14th, the north nodes of the moon change signs from service-oriented Virgo to self-celebrating Leo. So the north nodes of the moon, you don't really know them as planets. They're, they're a facet of our lives. Uh, they affect the eclipses that are gonna be coming up. So uh, the north nodes of the moon are really about where you're headed to, where you're evolving to, where your soul is going, and what you're learning right now, what you're integrating. And they affect us all for 18 months. So this, this Leo, north node in Leo, is gonna be for the next 18 months. 
So it affects us all collectively. As a collective, we're learning how to be more like Leo. So as a collective, we're learning how to be more individualistic because <laughs> Leo teaches you how to be an individual, how to celebrate yourself, how to shine more brightly, have more fun, be more joyful, be more creative and be a leader, be the light worker that you were born to be. Think of the kitty cat, right? The lion. The lion is the master of their domain, right? Like they're not going to listen to like what others have to tell them about their life. They're like, this is who I am. I'm ruling the jungle. This is my domain. I tell myself how I want to live my life. And that's what we're all learning. How to like really truly own your life, own your energy, shine more brightly, be more creative. Leo is actually associated, it governs the heart. It's all about living from your heart right now. So that's everything we're learning. So this month, it's what it's about. It's love, it's beautiful. So I have three suggestions on how to make the most of this month, this really amazing energy that you can take advantage of. So the first thing is to make choices from your heart. Guaranteed, you're gonna be presented with some choices this month. Anytime we have a six month, you're gonna have choices to make. It's like the universe's way of making sure that you're being true to yourself. So the, remember the temptation is to choose things that you feel you should be doing or that you think other people would want for you that's gonna make other people happy. Now the real test of this is to make sure you're doing what's right for you. So as you're presented with choices, go inside your heart, stop thinking about what, how it's gonna affect everyone else, go inside your heart and feel into it. Does this feel good for me? What feels best for me? What do I really, really want? And how am I going to choose the choice that's more joyful for me? Now, if something feels energetically flat, don't do it. If something thinks you think you should be doing it, but it doesn't feel good, don't do it. Keep going, keep asking your heart until you find something that feels good, okay? Now, the second thing is to take up more space energetically. So often as empaths and sensitive souls, you know, we, we, we close up our energy really small and tight to us because you know, first of all, you don't want to be noticed because sometimes that can bring criticism to you. And as a sensitive, that can feel painful. So you don't want to be noticed. You kind of, or you don't want to impose on anyone or, you know, is, or that's your way you've taught yourself to protect yourself energetically. Not working anymore because when you like close up your energy field really close to you and like take up not a lot of space energetically, what you're telling the universe and your subconscious is that you don't really matter. And that other people can come and like take up space and invade your boundaries anytime they want. So what is so much more helpful for you is to imagine that you are expanding your aura, your big bright energy field, bigger and brighter and take up more space. So when you walk into a room, set that intention. I'm going to take up more space here. I'm going to expand my aura more brightly here. And just keep visualizing that throughout the day. Am I like shrinking up or how can I expand myself now? And as you do that, as you send out that energy, bigger, larger, brighter, that tells the universe that you matter. That tells the universe that you're ready for a more expansive life, that you're ready for more prosperity. It is going to change so much in your life. So I can't wait to hear what happens when you do that. Now, the third thing is to have fun. Truly, you need more fun in your life. So now if you're if you're planning your life like to have more fun in the future but you're stressing about it now or you're like making travel plans and you're like all scrunchy on the computer you're thinking about all the new career or new job that you're going to have or whatever and you're like i'm stressed or whatever that's what you're creating that's what you're bringing to the future so if you feel yourself like that or you find yourself like that just remind yourself let me breathe let me bring more joy into this let me how do i make this a fun process now, even if you hate your job or you hate where you live or you're stuck in a kind of a bad situation, in your free time, you can carve out some free time, do something fun for yourself every day. And if you do something fun for yourself every day, you're gonna create more joy in your aura. You're gonna create more joy in your energy field. You're gonna, that's the energy that you're bringing into the future. So have more fun, bring more fun into your life and have more fun with the process. So I know that if you do these three things, your life is totally going to change and you can have a magnificent month. So I hope that I have inspired you to be the best version of yourself that you can possibly be. And if you've enjoyed this video, share it with your friends. I know they will appreciate you for it.
I really hope that you have a magnificent, marvelous May and beyond. Lots of love and bye for now.